In some classrooms for older kids, administrators have found a place for artificial intelligence. What's not known is whether this could be a substitute for old school education. A timeless scene that has been played out in schools around the world for centuries. Young students enjoying their break between lessons. But back in the classroom of this school in Abu Dhabi, a transformation is happening. In this lesson, you learn to solve equations with rational coefficients. Whiteboards, markers, and books have been replaced with interactive calendars, digital avatars, and laptops. Let's solve this equation together. 14-year-old Maria Mohammed is just one of 25,000 students in the UAE and the U.S. being taught through the Olive Education platform. When we was using books, it was like so boring, so it's nice to use new technology in learning, not in a traditional way. Founded in Abu Dhabi in 2015, the online program is using technology to disrupt traditional education in the classroom. Children are encouraged to create their own avatar. And through the use of videos, animation, digital content, and questions along the way, the Olive platform aids learning. At its headquarters in Abu Dhabi, in a secured control room, analysts use artificial intelligence to make sense of the reams of information coming in. So we capture millions of data points on a daily basis. A human cannot process that many data points. The premise is simple. If a pupil struggles with a concept, the system adapts and presents the lesson again in a form more tailored to the student. The result is reframing the future of education. Wouldn't it be great if you could look at artificial intelligence and data to drive kids into the right careers, into the right choices post-secondary education? When it comes to adopting AI technology, the United Arab Emirates is one country leading the way. But with artificial intelligence expected to generate $96 billion towards the economy by 2030, some are worried that this technology comes at a cost, with a growing debate over whether the benefits outweigh increased screen time for children or potential privacy concerns. 